Sarah and welcome back to another video. In today's video, as you can probably tell by the title, I'm going to show you how I do my casual kind of like makeup routine because I felt like putting makeup on today so I thought I would do it in a video and this is the look, the final result so keep on watching if you do want to find out what I use, what type of makeup products I use and what brushes I use and I just want to put a disclaimer out there, I am no means a makeup artist, I just I learnt this all myself I'm probably using the wrong brushes I'm probably using the wrong things for the wrong things but like I say I am not a makeup artist and this just works for me so yeah so without further ado let's jump in to the video so the first thing that I do is I moisturize I always moisturize before I put any sort of makeup on I just feel like it helps the makeup sit so that is the reason why I do it um so yeah I'm just gonna grab this mirror that's behind the camera. Ah! Got a little mirror so I can see what I'm doing. But yeah, so the moisturizer that I use is the L'Oreal Paris Triple Active Day Dry and Sensitive Skin. It's just in this little pot. And I literally just get it from Boots, so it's really, really affordable. And then I just use some cotton pads because I don't like to touch my face because that like gives you loads of spots and stuff so I, I just don't touch my face so I just literally just pop it on splatter it all on and rub it in So that is the moisturiser done. I always just feel like it's important to moisturise before you put makeup on. And yeah, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm always going to go in with some concealer. And the concealer that I use is the e.l.f. Flawless Concealer. I use it in the number 81481 and it's light sands and it's just this one here. And yeah, it just works wonders, especially since I've got quite a lot of red blotchiness at the moment um, and spots. It does wonders. So we're just going to plop blood on. And then I literally just plop it under my eyes and on my eyelids because I have quite dark like skin around it. Like, don't know why, just do. Always have done, it's so annoying. So I literally just do a triangle and then just a line on the lid, just like that. Oh, I missed a red watch there. And I do like to just do it on my nose like that that's my makeup done thanks for watching everybody <laughs> and now I'm gonna go in with my beauty blender and just dot that in Now, obviously, as you can tell from my other videos, I don't wear makeup that often, which I really wish I could just, I could be bothered doing, but I just think sleep is so much more important than doing it on an everyday basis. If you're with me, let me know. I just love sleep so much that I just can't help it. I do wish I had the motivation though to like, do makeup every day. But I just love sleep. If you're with me, hello. Oh, that was so embarrassing. And then. I would normally go in with powder to set that, but 
I need to buy some new ones. Because when I went to Germany last, so my Munich vlog, if you've not watched it, it's there. When I came back, the plane literally broke it. And it's just literally not usable. And the reason I still got it is because I need to make sure I get the same one because I love the Elf range of that. But yeah, I can't set it. So we're just going to have to go straight in with the foundation, which is, oh no, where did I put it? Oh, it's over here. So here's the foundation that I use. It's just, an, again, it's an e.l.f. It's a flawless finished foundation. And it's in the coloured snow. And yeah, it's oil free, so that's really, really good. But this is what it looks like. And to be fair, I want to try this out at some point. It, I got a sample of it. We just got like given these things at work to go and get like free samples and it's Lancome I think I've pronounced that right Paris Tainted Eye Doll Ultra Wear it's in beige a pale and it's in 008 and I've got a little tester but I'm not going to do that today because obviously it could look horrible I've got like a tiny tester of it um and I actually got matched for this so I might try that out, but I've heard it's like 30, 30 odd pounds just for a foundation where you can get something as simple as this for like really cheap. But I mean, we shall see. So anyway, it's just this little pump. And again, you can get this from Boots or Superdrug. I think you can get it from Superdrug. I always get mine from Boots. But I just do like a few pumps of it on my hand. And then I'm going to go in with this Real Technique. I think it's a sculpting brush. It's like worn out. But it's got like this little angled head and I just find it works wonders to get into the creases. And then I'm literally just going to pop that all over. All over my face. Do you ever have like spots that just don't cover up? Like this one here is just so annoying right now. I might have to go back over with concealer and see if it helps I need to put a few pumps on my hand I either put too much on my hand or I just don't put enough it's never I never do the right amount I obviously make sure I get into my hairlines as well and down the neck I can still see loads of spots you know what we're just gonna have to deal with it anyway that is my foundation done and now I'm going to go in with a bit of powder and again, this is broken, but it's nowhere near as bad as the e.l.f. one. Because look, like, it's supposed to have a plastic bit there, but it came off again on the flight back from Munich. Um, so it's a wet and wild one. And I couldn't tell you the, what it's called because the thing felt has gone missing. But anyway, <laughs> this is what I use and I just use it to kind of like set my foundation and I use this Real Technique contour brush. It's just got the, the small fluffy like tip to it. And again, you can get both of these from Boots. Bootsies. And I just, yeah, I just kind of just throw it all over my face. It helps set the liquid foundation. And it doesn't put too much extra colour onto your face because it matches it. So, yeah. You know what? I do my makeup so weird. I'm pretty sure, like, no one else's makeup routine is like this. But, hey-ho, I ain't a professional. So 
so that is that done i feel like because i've got this light on you just can't even see anything but i mean yeah. the next thing that i do is i try to contour with this elf contouring palette thing above i say try because i don't know how to contour but it works for me so i just do it but it's in the color warm 83701 and it's got different colors in it and between this is the one that i kind of tend to use just because it's more it's not too brown for my skin um and then i use this spectrum a04 brush and you can get this from boots and I just, I use this top one. I never really use any of the others unless I put something on too dark. And yeah, I just try to contour, but it never works. That's why I don't go in with a dark one, because it's like, if I do, completely wrong it's fine it's completely fine no just just using the safe option and then i go around the bottom of my chin just kind of carve out your bones <laughs> and then down the nose and a cupid throw and yeah that's my contouring done yeah. now i'm going to go in with fa uh, not foundation because i've already done that wakey wakey sarah i'm going to go in with this blush and it's the rimmel london it's in the colour 050 Live Pink. Oh my god, just nearly dropped that. And this is the colour of it. And I really, really like it. I always use it. And I go in with this multitask brush from Real Technique. It's got the bigger end to it. And yeah, just kind of dot that on. You know, you want a bit of colour back into them cheeks. like so and then i am just gonna literally just finish it off with a bit of mascara and i've changed mascaras i now use the wet and wild max volume plus mascara it's in this pink case focus mate thanks and it's just got this little applicator and again, this is really, really affordable. It's from Boots. Um, it's a really, really cheap make. And then I literally just put this on my top lashes. Because <laughs> I feel like if you just put it on your top lashes, it looks, they make them look so much more longer. Like, look at the difference in that now. My lashes look so long. And then, stupid me, I just got it on my lid. So, we are going to sort that out. And when that does happen, I just grab a cotton wool bud and wipe it off. Like so. And then I just go in with some spray, but I'm just going to let my eyelashes set first because literally if I don't let my eyelashes set and I spray, my face spray, it goes everywhere. But yeah, as we do that, I'm just going to put some lip balm on because I never really use lipstick. Even when I go out, I don't use lipstick, but I use this Vaseline Original prote Protecting Jelly dermatological tested 
and yeah, just works wonders. And I literally just try that on. Which with my finger. No, gotta keep them lips hydrated. No, I literally can get this from your local super, super drug, local drugstore. Right, now I'm going to grab my setting spray because I've left it. And yeah, um, this is the setting spray that I use. It's a Mario Best, I can never pronounce it, but it's this, this make. And it's a skin skincare established in 1967, and it's sp uh, facial spray with aloe vera, herbs, and rose water. And it's for all skin types. And I literally just got this from the Beauty Bay website, and literally, I just love it so much. It's just so amazing. So you just do a quick spray of that little spritz, like so, and then you just let it soak in hmm i'm not sure um yeah because i definitely mentioned your name alexa i didn't even speak to you sorry i don't know that alexa i didn't say your name oops i thought i heard my name yeah, you better be oopsie. Anyway, back to this. Does anybody else's Alexa? I'm gonna whisper Alexa. Do that as well because it totally freaks me out when it does that. It's like, I never said your name. Why are you talking to me? And yeah, so that is it. So that is how I do my makeup. It might not be the right way, but I don't really care. It works for me. And yeah, if any of you guys have any tips on how you do your makeup, let me know because I might try it. I never, never, never touch my brows because they do need doing. But when I do get them done, I just get them tinted. So I don't really need to do anything with them. So that is what I do. Um, and yeah. If you enjoyed these type of videos, please let me know in the comments down below because I could potentially do some other makeup looks. Um, and yeah. Um, yeah, that's it. <laughs> but thank you so much for watching. And if obviously if you did enjoy this video, please thumb it up. Give us a suggestion down below of what else you would like to see. And also hit that subscribe button if you if you are new and make sure you hit that notification bell so you don't miss any videos just like this one thanks for watching guys bye